What is going on YouTube? Levi Adams back again for episode 3 of our Pokemon Crystal Randomized Nuzlocke. Um, not much has changed from the very last episode, so if you remember what happened there, you remember what happens here. Um, I'm recording this like immediately after recording the last episode, which is probably a bad idea because I'm still sad about Typhlosion. But, um... We're just going to go ahead and uh, get rolling here. Uh, probably would be a good idea to pick up some potions, maybe some balls, if we can. Get five potions, some pokeballs, clean four, or clean seven. Um, we gotta do, go talk to Kurt so that we can go to the Slowpoke well, um, and do all that stuff. <laughs> Look at this sprite. It's so goofy. Um, uh, Kurt is a speedy little guy. Uh, let me get my mouse out of the way real quick. Sorry about that. Uh, white Apricorn. Nice. Um, maybe could have done a little bit of grinding off screen, but I kind of wanted to just record this. Um, not to mention the Pokemon in this game in general are just so weak. Where it's like, I don't really want to grind too much against trainers. Um... Uh, took a tumble down the well. Yeah, thought so. That's why you just shouldn't uh, come. Oh, oh, encounter. I forgot about that. Well, we'll get our encounter after we beat down this grunt. Oh. <sighs> I wish you guys could hear the music, but you can't, unfortunately. Still don't have that screen recording software that can record audio. Alright, Nicole. Let's go for the lovely kiss. Didn't affect Zubat. I don't know what that means. We eat it up. Hey. Uh, good thing about Nidoqueen is that Nidoqueen has fully evolved stats, so... Um... And Nidoqueen's... Uh, oh wait, no. Bug is physical in Gen 2. Which means that Giga Drain's gonna be doing a decent amount. For sure. Um... Also, we recover as much as it does. With its headbutt. Um... So, Giga Drain on Nidoqueen is actually going to be sick throughout this playthrough. Unfortunately, Bug's not, like, the best coverage. Well, it's only resisted by... Well, it's resisted by a lot of stuff. It's resisted by Flying, Steel, Ghost, Fire, Poison. It's, like, almost a third of the type chart. But hey, we're at level 7, so that's nice. Um, Lediba. So, uh, like I said, I am recording this immediately after the last episode. Um, I was thinking, like, maybe I should go back and catch a Chinchou, just so that I know how much damage Sonic Boom does. But I also just don't... Oh, God. Wait, no. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I was like, is this going to be another Sonic Boom thing? But Sonic Boom is different because Se or Seismic Toss does damage based on the level. Strong level 8. It's going well. It was nice, actually. Let's go in at Cole. So we're going to try and get our encounter before we fight this person at the top. I think Slowpoke well encounters aren't too common. Um, I don't... Oh, yo! 
I just remembered we can get the fishing rod at the on the opposite side of Rock Tunnel. I kind of want to do. Ooh, spicy pillow swine. Oh god, what did I just do? <laughs> oh, that's funny. That's funny. Okay, uh, yeah, we're... Gonna move Giga Drain up top real quick. Oh, Nicole's so good for... For catching Pokemon. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. Well, oh, Butterfree, we could have got a Butterfree. <sighs> Catching Butterfree would have been really fun. Super effective. Okay, that's cool. Nice. Flexibility, love, and trust. I love Butterfree. Butterfree's so cool. Um, yeah, so we're just gonna keep on going through Slowpoke. Well, recovering from Typhlosion slowly. I mean, ultimately, like, it would have been really cool to have Typhlosion. That was a lot of experience. Either that or Nidoqueen just gains experience really fast. I feel like all the Pokemon in this game have been gaining experience at a ludicrous level. Um, maybe to combat the leveling system of the game. I don't know. Back at it again, like me go with a pen. Um, you go for the Giga Drain. I think Giga Drain's neutral. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm really liking Nido Queen, honestly. Nido Queen's pretty cool. Like, I love both of the Nidos. Nido King is honestly cooler to me, but, um, yeah, that's just my personal opinion. Uh, Smeargle, look at him. So dope. 200 for experience. That's a lot of experience. Nicole's out here raising, raising the bar. Okay, Mareep. Uh, I know that Mareep doesn't have Son or Well, no, I don't know that, actually. <laughs> um, whoa! I did literally nothing. Um... So we'll switch into Ozzy, and oh god. See, that's horrifying. Because what if he gets Sonic Boom? Oh wow, okay, so he's got to be some combination with Steel type. Because that's a little bit wild. That maybe is he something that quad resists ice? Can't be ice steel. Fire steel. Heatran. That'd be sick. That'd be really cool to catch Marie. That is Heatran. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, so, uh, really excited because tomorrow I get paid, and tomorrow, I mean, I have to pay rent and my car insurance and other bills, uh, like my cable and internet. But, um, 
Oh my god. From not Okoing a Zubat to Okoing a Zubat in the span of one cave. I'm so proud of you, Nicole. Um, I think... No, Steel's super effective on this thing. I don't know. Maybe Giga Drain will do some damage. Um, yep, that's damage. That's indeed damage. Nice and strong Giga Drain. Uh, so, honestly... I kind of want to go back and get some, get an encounter in some other places with the old rod. I think that that would be nice to do um, for my own sake. Um, also, just going back and getting the old rod sounds like a good idea. And I think the Pokemon you can catch with the old rod are all level 10. If I'm not mistaken so that's like automatically a good addition to the team um, if I can get some repels and do it that way then I probably will um, and just go back uh, maybe I'll just cut the video going back to get the old rod but I don't want anything to die oh uh, we're just taking down a rocket all over the place. It's kind of cool how um, in the remakes they made the admins. Um, instead of just making rocket grunts in charge of like a bunch of stuff, but you know, I think this is super effective. Nope, it's neutral. Yeah, I don't want to deal with this. Um, let's go out into Ozzy. And while we're over there... Yeah, okay. So, Eggbomb's a Dragon-type move. We already know that because of Henry. Um, oh my gosh. What are you? This guy doesn't obey sleep claws. He doesn't obey sleep claws. It's not okay. So, yeah, tomorrow I get my paycheck. I have to pay rent and stuff, but I'm also going to be getting some other stuff, like probably a camera for drawing, because um, that'd be nice. That'd just be a nice thing to have. This is horrifying. Boom. Flexibility, love, and trust. Here comes a thought. What are you? That might alarm you. What someone said. And how it um, you. Yeah, so. <laughs> also, I don't know how much I want to call species on anything. If that thing evolves at a low level. You know what I mean? Like, say I catch. Say I caught Butterfree, right? But I could also catch up Caterpie. Now that we know that levels... I don't know what this has to do with anything that I was talking about uh, as far as buying a camera and stuff. I want to buy a camera for drawing videos because I like drawing physically more than I like drawing... Um, not... Uh, or drawing digitally. Um, a lure ball. That. Let's go catch some fish. Um... Uh, so yeah, um, I wish I had a speed up button, or the bike, the bike would be nice. Um, this guy looks like a fisherman, maybe he wants to give me something. I forget where you, no, you get the good rod in, um, some city. Uh, in Olivine City. Let's see if I can pick up a repel. Because if I can pick up a repel, that'll make this real easy. 
Hey. Yeah, I'll get four repels. Sounds good. Sounds good, dog. Um, so we're definitely just going to repel it up. Uh, go and catch at least, try and catch at least one, maybe two more Pokemon. Um, oh, I already caught that guy. Uh, uh, by the way, it is always nighttime when I, uh, in-game when I record this. Um, I don't know why. Uh, I think it's just because, um... Uh, it's because when I set the time, like, this game isn't linked up to my computer. So, uh, it doesn't follow the time with the computer. Like, uh... Uh, or, like, it doesn't move to actual time like, a, like the actual game would. Um, so that's why that is. Just in case anyone was curious. Yo, they added some, like, extra entrances to the Ruins of Elf. So... Yo, give me a rod. Take a moment to think of jobs. I think he also gives me some lure balls. Oh, nope. Must be in a different... Or that must just be in the remakes. Okay, so... We're gonna go ahead and get back to Olivine. Um, you know, there's an item over there that I kind of want to get. But, uh, yeah, we'll go back to Olivine. I think that it's relatively grass-free. Relatively. Uh, yo, this grass over here is fire. Typhlosions and Gyarados. I would have been so hyped about a Gyarados. Probably would have also just died to a Sonic Boom, so you know, who really cares, but... No point in not grinding against this Gyarados real quick. Um, good thing is, too, if we run into another Typhlosion, we know what type it is. Um, that's not, like, obviously it's still not good that we lost Typhlosion. Um, but still. Uh, also, kind of cool thing about doing this right now is that, um, or, what, what am I trying to get at here? Uh, select. So we can finally use the shift button for something. Um, okay, so our Violet City encounter is... Oh, let's go. Let's go. This is sick. Yes. Get in the ball. Damn it! Just wasted my lure ball. Seismic toss. That's cool. That's just like cool that Pikachu knows that. Oh, we have Lovely Kiss. Totally forgot about that. Yo, Nicole is a very valued mem member of this team. Take a moment to think of jobs. Flexibility, love, and trust. Take a moment to think. I don't really want to weaken it because I don't know what type Pikachu is. Um. But. Oh, come on. Beat up. Flexibility, love, and trust. That's sick. Take a moment to think of jobs. Flexibility, love, and trust. That's actually sick. Yo, <laughs> oh my god, Pikachu with beat up is gonna be awesome. Uh, depending on what type beat up is, what if beat up stab? Ooh. 
Oh, come on. Get in the ball, Pikachu. Don't do this. I don't want a Giga Drain because... I'm just going to body it. Come on, Pikachu. Get in the ball. And we have a Thunderstone, too. So we can evolve this Pikachu anytime we want to. What Pikachu would fall into... <laughs> I'm just going to think, like, what if everything evolves into Typhlosion? What? Okay. Um... Yo, don't do this. Okay, what do I have that could potentially weaken it? I always have Mudslap on Henry. Goes for the light screen. So... In that case, I'm going to go for Egg Bomb, because Egg Bomb is a special attack. Whoa. Good thing he put up that light screen. Um... I'll risk it. I'll risk it. Yes. Take a moment and find yourself. Take a moment and ask yourself if this is how we fall apart. Get in the ball. Get in the ball. Right now. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Oh my god, Pikachu, what are you doing? You got nothing, got nothing. What are you doing? Yo, we caught some sick Pokemon on this playthrough. Um, what do I want to name you? I'm going to name you Max. Max the Pikachu. So, let's take a look at our newfound Pikachu. Um, Seismic Talk, uh, Beat Up, Fire, Fire Blast, Light Screen, which is sick. It's actually an electric type. Huh. That's weird. That's really weird. <laughs> um... So we've got Steel Type Fire Blast. We've got Bug Type Beat Up. And we've got Seismic Toss. Which is a rock type attack, so I can hit ghost types. Um yo. Pikachu is gonna be sweet for catching Pokemon too. Um Pikachu's gonna be real sweet for catching Pokemon. Oh. Um. And I think. I don't know, we have five Pokemon. Well, actually, okay. Oh, so. We're gonna go down to Cherry Grove and get our Cherry Grove City encounter. And the only reason I'm going down to Cherry Grove is, um. Because we have that egg in the party with us, and the more steps we take, the closer we get to hatching that bad boy. So, um, so I'm very, very down to uh, to hatch an egg. Man, time. Yeah, I don't want to deal with you. I don't know what type you are. I want to know what type you are, so I know how to body you most efficiently. But, eh. um. I keep on saying that I want to catch, uh, that I want to catch a Chinchow to know how much damage Sonic Boom does, but, like, Sonic Boom could be, like, base 150, you know? 
uh, and it doesn't matter unless I like only use Typhlosion, you know, uh, like if I use Typhlosion to catch, ooh, Cherry Grove City Encounter is... Well, now's our chance. I'm gonna put it to sleep. I have to put it to sleep. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, oh god. Okay. Go to sleep. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Is this worth using our Ultra Ball? Yeah, it is. Because we get more Ultra Balls later on in the game. But I'm going to use this Ultra Ball right now. And this Chinchow doesn't get in the ball. Yes. Take a moment to think of just flexibility, love, and trust. Oh, thank God. Oh. Uh, Take a moment to think of just flexibility, love, um, and trust. Yeah, your name's gonna be Killer. Take a moment to think of just. I'm not giving you a human, a uh, human name. <laughs> uh. Because you don't deserve a human name. Or I can name you Zodiac. For Zodiac Killer. Or I can name you Ted Cruz, because Ted Cruz is the Zodiac Killer. Well, okay. So, that couldn't have worked out more perfectly. Because now I gotta see how much damage Sonic Boom does. Uh, and if Sonic Boom does a lot of damage, there's no reason to not add Chincho to the party. Um... So let's just deposit. I don't know. Let's deposit Max real quick. Um. So that we can withdraw. Killer stats. So it's a flying dark type. That's cool. We got Murkrow out here. Um. Sonic Boom Barrier Water Gun. Um, here comes a thought. Uh, stats. Oh no, we already saw that. Um, move 100. <sighs> okay, well, I called it. First of all, I want everybody to know that I called it. Um, yeah, like I said, there's no reason to not bring Killer with us. Uh, I'm gonna keep Togepi the way it is, or keep Togepi where it is, uh, or keep what would normally be the Togepi egg where it is. Um, so... Oh, hey Henry. Hey Henry. I'm gonna run. Um, yo, if I'm running to a Mantine, I'm bodying that thing so fast. This Mantine is so fat. Um, that'll give a lot of experience. But, uh, so, yeah, there's literally nothing I could do against any Pokemon with Sonic Boom. Uh, I don't feel bad about losing Eli anymore. Um, at all. Um, and I definitely don't feel bad about, well, I mean, I do feel bad about losing Typhlosion, because Typhlosion was sick. But there's nothing I could have done. Like... I don't know why Sonic Boom says it literally says always does 20 HP but I think that's I don't know that's be, before it was given a base power of 100 so I guess it always does 100 now I don't know um so regardless uh this is gonna be cool getting to use Chin Chow and stuff uh, a Pokemon with Sonic Boom on our squad because always dealing 100 damage sounds like something I can really get behind um uh, 
Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Not really much else to say. We're gonna make our way up back down to uh to Azalea Town. Um walking the whole darn way. I think there's there's one trainer that I didn't fight. Um and as for right now, I will keep Killer on the squad over Max. Um just because Killer will be really easy to grind up. Um Versus Max, who won't be that easy to grind up. So we're just going to keep on rolling. It could have been great, man. It could have been great. We had so much that we could have done. Why couldn't Sonic Boom have missed against me? Please. Three. Just like that. It's just what happened to my Typhlosion. Uh, oh well. Oh well. I just realized that the Typhlosion could have used Psybeam and bodied me. Um... I can't see how much accuracy you have. That sucks. <sighs> yeah, I want to turn on my uh, repels through here. So, so yeah, uh, looking forward to getting a camera for drawing videos. That'll be really fun. Um, I got a schedule so I can plan out my drawing more often. Um, uh, but, um, uh, yeah, so, like, I got a, I got a schedule so I can plan on, on doing things and, and stuff. Um, so I can plan things out, uh, so I can mark deadlines and, and things like that. There's a Shonen Jump competition, uh, the deadline's in November. I'm going to be doing a lot of drawing for that. I'm going to be doing this series, um, maybe playing, like, another randomizer if I want to. This series just... Oh, I said the word series. And, and Siri activated. Um, so... Yeah, uh, I'm probably still not gonna fight the people in these caves because I would rather. Oh, kind of got a Natu. How do you do? Um, uh, I really hope we catch some Pokemon that like evolve early later in the game. If that makes any sense. Ah, oh, damn it. All right. Well, that's fine. Killer can get this experience. So Killer's definitely just going to be who I use to body the entire next gym. Um, Sandshrew, well, unless you're Shedinja with Wonder Guard in Gen 2, uh, you're not living this. So, um... Uh... My friend, uh, who actually is a subscriber on my channel, I think. Shout out to you, Van Hool. Um, texting him right now. Uh, so, uh, I'm telling him about how Sonic Boom always does 100. Um, so it doesn't matter how much god dang HP your Typhlosion has. I was so sad. Um, kind of want to go get that ball, but at the same time, I don't, because I'm probably going to come back here with Max. I kind of want to evolve Max and see what Max evolves into. Um, because I don't think that there's much harm in doing that, but at the same time, I want to rock out with Pikachu for a little while. But I'm not even rocking out with Pikachu right now, so... Uh, 
I don't know. I think we'd be fine to evolve Pikachu. Uh, or you could save the Thunderstone for something else. What else evolves with a Thunderstone in this generation? There's Eevee. Evolves with a Thunderstone. I don't know my stones that, or my Pokemon that evolve with stones that well. I know Elec or Electric evolves with a Thunderstone, but that doesn't help me. Um, where are you at, Egg? Flexibility, love, and trust. Ugh. Take a moment to think it just. Ugh. Wait a second. If I've walked around this much and it's taken that, like, it's got to be something cool, right? So we're going to evolve Pikachu real quick. Uh, and see if Pikachu turns into something cool. Because uh, if Pikachu turns into a Typhlosion, you already know who we're putting on the squad. Um. Uh, where are you at? Thunderstone? Let's see what you evolve into. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay, I'll take it. I'll take it, Kangaskhan. Um, so... Let's see what Kang is kind of. Ghost Dark. No weaknesses. Look at these stats. Yo. Well, we can always come back should we need to. Um, I definitely think it's a wiser move to bring Killer with us. Um. And now we know that all Pikachus evolve into Kangaskhan's, so that's cool. Um, so I think if I find another Kangaskhan, I'm going to call Dooms. Uh, because my Pikachu evolved into one. Um, ooh. I forgot that the gym is like this in this game. Um... I was expecting the spider things, but I don't know why I was expecting that, because this is Gen 2. Oh. So, yeah, we got two very worthwhile encounters, in my opinion. Um, Pokemon are on par with us. Oh, Max is an out front. Or, Killer is an out front, I mean. Which is fine. I'm always down to give... Okay, uh, to give Luke some experience. Um, just because um, I'm so weary of anything with Sonic Boom. Until my Pokemon have over 100 HP, I will not not be afraid of that. Um... Let's go for Sonic Boom! Get bodied. Um, so yeah. Nice. Um, oh, I didn't switch. <laughs> I goofed. Oh, oh well. So... Yeah, uh, we're in this episode. Uh, I'm really glad we got those encounters, actually. Um, like, pretty psyched about it. Um, maybe Luke will evolve here. Or not evolve, level up. Uh, I'm really excited to see what Luke evolves into. You know what? If we end up with a starter on our squad at any point through evolution, I'll be pretty psyched. Unless it's Meganium. No, I really like Meganium, actually. So, never mind. Um, if we end up with the Typhlosion on our squad, you already know I'm going to flip. So, we're going to keep Giga Draining the Sun Kern, get back to that HP, um, almost all of it. So, ooh, nice, nice. Um, Iggly buff. 
I know steel types steel type attacks are good on Iggly Buff. But I also know that Sonic Boom kills everything right now. Uh, 100 damage. That's nuts. One hundred damage. That might alarm me. What someone said and how it hung. And I still oh my god, what is wrong with me? I just wanna level up Luke. I just do. I just wanna level him up. Well he has an actual bug type. Or what is normally a bug type in the gym. It's crazy. Uh, nice. Easy kill. Luke is level 18, putting him at the front of the squad, I do believe. Unless Henry is up there. Nope. Um, this is looking like a Johto playthrough team. Our starter Pokemon is the highest level, and everything is kind of close. But most of it is not close at all. Um, well, I don't know. They're all within six levels. That's not bad. Um, Raticate. That would be a cool experience. Just because it's a fully evolved Pokemon. Um, boo. I would be scared of you, but I'm not. Because of the fact that I have Sonic Boom. Nice. Good experience. Just evolving is not enough, random bug catcher kid. We learn from our past mistakes. <laughs> Third time is the charm. Yo, this egg better be something wild. So I will keep this egg with me for forever. Until it hatches. Um, I might even try and hatch it off screen, but I don't think so. Um, unless there's like a good way to do it. The best way I could think is like over in Goldenrod. Um, maybe I'll start the next episode with an egg hatch. With the hatching of the egg. Whoa. Whoa. Um, what are you doing to me? What are you doing to me, killer? Um, okay, so that did 14 damage. I'll risk it. Okay, he goes for rap. Rap strong, though. Sonic Boom. Thank you. Oh, jeez. That was risky. That was a risky business. Killer learned Encore. That's kind of nice, actually. Um. So, we'll go ahead and heal Killer real quick. That's an egg. I used to think that putting your egg at the front of the party um, would uh, raise it faster, would make it want to hatch faster, because of the fact that uh, it's at the front of the party and it's seeing battles more. Um, I used to think that, uh, that that was the case, but it's not, unfortunately. I also used to think that you could battle Bugsy multiple times in this game because in the anime, Bugsy told Ash that he wanted to battle again. Oh, look at him! He's so cute! Yo, also, we get two eggs in this game. Fun fact. Because uh, we got one egg from the daycare couple. No, I'm not going to risk it. Um, 
no reason to risk killer if we don't have to. Um, just go out into Old Reliable, otherwise known as Henry, and go for the Sacred Fire. Ba-boom. Um... Oh my gosh, Pichu's huge. Go for the egg bomb just to knock it out. This egg bomb and Sonic Boom have about the same animation time anyway. Weedle. If I get bodied by Weedle, I'll be sad. Um... Sonic Boom! Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Hitmon Chan. Yeah, I'll switch. Better safe than sorry. Probably Ozzy? Nice. Hitmon Chan looks pretty clean. Um. I don't want to go for that strong curse. I got really scared because I thought Rolling Kick was the type that it normally was. Coming off of a Hitmonchan. Um, so that gym was easy peasy living breezy. Um, yeah, nice. Uh, I wonder what TM he's going to give us. That'll be cool to see. The Hive Badge. I mean, that's not TM. Um, <laughs> um, uh, TM 49. What is it? Dynamic Punch. That's pretty sick. Who can learn Dynamic Punch? What type is Dynamic Punch, more importantly? Um, I wonder, yo, if Nicole, Nicole and Luke can learn it. Um, I don't think Nicole's ever going to learn anything more useful. So, I'm going to teach it to Nicole. Get rid of Whirlwind. I don't need any more of what happened in Slowpoke Well happening. Um, that's not the start button. Um, let's look at the moves. Water, 45 damage. But it always confuses, so it's not awful. It's not good, but it's not awful. Um, let us proceed. Uh, we'll go heal up. We do have a rival battle coming up next. I think I'll pick up some potions. Um, after we get, uh, I'll probably also pick up some more repels. So that after we get our encounter, we can just... We can just repel up. Um... Take a moment to think of Do I want to grab Kangaskhan? What would I grab Jones. instead of Kangaskhan? Nah, I think I'm good. Um, gonna go ahead and do this. Um, let's grab four more repels. Let's grab two super potions and one potion potion um and i think um i'm pretty okay with the killer lead um i wonder if our opponent is gonna have venomoth or I would, well I don't, I don't know are his pokemon gonna follow actual evolution rules is he still gonna have venonat i don't know Maybe, probably. Find out next time on Dragon Ball Z. Um, he's got a Psyduck. That's 
Neato. Uh, startup disk is almost full. Um, I think that that means that after this battle... Out of this battle, I'm going to have to cut the recording short so that I can save space on my computer to keep recording stuff. Um, however, um, however, uh, in the next episode, we will definitely continue onwards towards Elix Forest. Um, either that or I think I can just save this episode honestly um like you can save it once the whoa calm down killer don't kill yourself um take a moment remind yourself to uh ozzy there's no reason to not trust ozzy um yeah. Yeah, I figured. I th have thought about going out into, um, into Nicole, but then uh, I realized that the move it could have used was a rock type move, and I think that that confirms my suspicion that it was a rock type move. Um, because it was super effective. I couldn't have been a fighting type attack. Couldn't have been a. I mean, it could have been an electric type attack, I guess. But I totally forgot what it said he was gonna send out. Pinko. So it looks like he does not still have that in that. Um. What are you, Pinko? Uh. So steel's not very effective. Maybe dynamic punch will have a better try. Oh. That was a decent amount of damage. Of course dynamic punch misses. Of course. Of course. Get him. Oh, Nicole. Oh, God. Go to sleep. Oh my god. If we lose Nicole... Nope. Okay, cool. Thank you! Thank you, Nicole. Okay, so Steel is not very effective on it. Oh my god, Nicole. It's a pine cone. Well, it's a bagworm. But punch it! God! Hit yourself, Pineco. Come on. Yeah. boy. So, Dynamic Punch probably would have been nice if Pineco... What is wrong with this Pineco? Um... I don't want to spread the the experience out any more than I have to, so I'm honestly very okay with just <sighs> his defense is also raising. Forgot about that. Uh, the recording might cut out in the middle of the battle and I don't want that to happen come on spam that mock punch get it go keep going keep going come on I'm pressing the equivalent of the A button so fast right now. So fast. Not really. Not that fast. Because I don't want to break my key. But, um... Alright. So we knock it out. Willie is defeated. Just how it was. 
in reality, no, it wasn't. Uh, Willie beat me the first two times. So. Take a moment to think of jobs. Oh, all right, so we are going to heal up. And you know what? If the recording cuts out, depending on how long it is, um, take a moment to think of jobs. Take a moment to think of Um, you know what? I am going to do some maintenance stuff and then I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. Did some maintenance. Uh, my startup disk should be fine now. I deleted some stuff off of my computer. Um, and we should be fine to make it to the next city. Uh, I did realize that this episode is going pretty long. But uh, I did say that the episodes are going to be basically landmark to landmark to... Or like, like you know, thing to thing to thing. Um, so we... Preparing for our Ilex Forest Encounter. Uh, definitely don't want Killer up front. We want Nicole up front. Because Dynamic Punch will be super useful because Dynamic Punch is booty. So, uh, let's see if we can get an encounter after we talk to Kid who lost Farfetched. Hey there. Okay, our Elix Forest encounter is... No fucking way. Go to sleep. Really, really wish I didn't use my ultra ball and all these little things seem to matter so much that they confuse me i might lose that sucks take a moment remember oh well what are you going to do take a moment and ask yourself if this is how we fall apart but it's not but i remember How's that work? So, oh, thank God we ran into Blastoise and not this thing. I don't really like Wiggy Tongue. I don't know. Well, I kind of think Wiggy Tongue's okay, I guess. But... Yo, so, uh, we're definitely going to put up a repel. Because I don't really feel like grinding too much right now. Um... I know I said I didn't want to do grinding off screen in case we lost Pokemon. Um, but I'm starting to think that that would be a more ideal thing to do. A sweet. Um, nice. Uh, cool. So we got the far fetch back. Uh, a little bit simpler than in Heart Gold Soul Silver, but um, thanks, kid. Ooh, we can get headbutt encounters too, which means we can go back to Azalea Town to get an encounter, which is sick. Um, unfortunately, we have to teach Cut to something now. So, all my Pokemon are able to learn it. Uh, let's teach it to Nicole. Maybe it's something cool. Definitely, we'll get rid of Sunny Day. Don't want to get rid of Dynamic Punch because, as we saw, apparently Dynamic Punch can body a Blastoise. Uh, my thinking was pretty sane. I like to, I like to believe. Anyway, um, so no, Nicole, move, cut. It's a psychic type attack. 
the base 95. That's pretty sick. I might actually teach that to, uh, to Ivysaur, because that would give us some stab. And stab is nice. Um, fire, oh my god, the stones. The stones are so real. Um, the stones! This is sweet. Because this is basically ensuring that we don't have a dead Pokemon in our party. Um, dead meaning a Pokemon we can't, or like a, a dead Pokemon in the box, rather. Um, like that can't evolve or anything, like if we catch a Jigglypuff, because I don't want to use a Jigglypuff. I'd much rather evolve it. Um... So, yes. Thank you for TM02. Wait, what if it's randomized? I just realized that. Heck. Come on. Bone. Damn it. Alright, so it looks like we won't be getting headbutt encounters, which sucks. Blue Sky Mail. That's worthless. Um, but there is a route just beyond the forest that we can get it. What? I don't remember there ever being Pokemon in this forest. Like, ever. Or Pokemon trainers in this forest, rather. So we got a Mareep. Um... Dynamic Punch. Dynamic Punch looks really cool. Get bodied. Wow. That was awesome, actually. So, Mankey is an electric type. So, I guess I'll use Giga Drain. This is nice to get a little bit more grinding in. While we're here, at the very least. Um, definitely before I encounter anything else, though, I would much, or I would, uh, I want to grab Kangaskhan for Seismic Toss, because uh, I don't want another murdering Blastoise incident to happen, um, because that would be unfortunate. Uh, that'd be incredibly unfortunate. So, uh, we're gonna make it to Goldenrod City. Uh, we're gonna get that next encounter. Um, and that'll be the end of the episode. Look at that Butterfree. Frick. I'm gonna try and avoid all these trainers if I can. Um, just so that I don't have to, you know, waste any more time. And it's not really a waste of time, but it's like... Come on. Um... Uh... I, it's just... I, I don't want to... You know, I don't want these videos to be super duper long. Um... This one's gonna be like an hour and a half, almost. Uh... Like between an hour and an hour and a half. Um... Slugma takes super effective damage from cut, which is good to know. Uh, if I can ever remember that. Swinib. Catching Pillow Swine would have been nice. Oh god. Ah, it's okay. The Swinib at a low level. That takes super effective damage from cut. At the very least, we know that Blastoise is not a uh, normal ghost. Um, and we know that... Uh, uh, so, we know that types don't necessarily carry on to a Pokemon's natural evolution, which actually makes things really, really fun. Um... 
So, yeah, nice. Uh, okay. I gotta watch out for this guy. Nice. Take a moment to think of oh god, I could have almost battled him again. Take a moment to think of Do I have to battle this guy or go in the grass? I think I'd either have to battle him or go in the grass. Um, so we'll just get our encounter and then proceed. Oh, he only has two Pokemon, that's fine. Um, and honestly, I would probably... I will probably leave a couple of Pokemon in the daycare. Um, okay, so Machop is a dark type. And Machop knows Sketch. That's cool. Are you pure dark? I don't know if you're pure, but you are not coupled with anything that would resist bug. About to send out Pidgey. That's okay. Um, we will cut you down to size. It's kind of cool that cut is actually a useful move in this game. Um, just due to the randomizer. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably... I don't know. I don't know, actually. I might drop off... Um... I was thinking uh, maybe, like, what if I used... Um... So we'll drop off... Actually, we'll just put Killer in the daycare. But I think Killer and Max would be, like, the best to put in the daycare. Um, oh, whoa. What? Um, uh, Killer and Max will probably go in the daycare right now. Um, or maybe whatever this last Pokemon is will go in the daycare, unless it's something really, really cool, like a Typhlosion. Um, okay, let's, uh, let's put good old Max up front. Let's see where you're at. It moves around. Ooh, okay, yeah, uh, we're definitely gonna start the next episode off with an egg hatching for sure Eevee oh that's so sick oh that's so sick oh that's so sick Kangaskhan I don't even know what type you are I just assumed you were Kangaskhan type oh goes dark right no weaknesses let's go take a moment to think of jobs Let's go. Sweet. Yo. What is your HP stat? I wonder if base stats are randomized too. Because that would be kind of wild. Um, definitely can live one more. Ice punching Eevee. So, Eevee's a Pokemon where I'm kind of like, I don't want to just use a stone on it right away, because we can find a lot more stones and stuff. I definitely want to throw Eevee in the daycare for sure, actually. Um... If we throw Eevee in the daycare with... No, we're throwing it in the daycare with a fish. It'll be fine. Um, we might need to put this thing to sleep. Uh, we might definitely need to put this thing to sleep. I didn't realize we only had five balls left. Oh my god, okay. Okay, we're gonna put this thing to sleep. I don't want to... I really don't want to risk Nicole. Because it has Ice Punch, which is a fighting type move, which will hit my Ice type for super effective damage. Oh, it's okay. Um, Lovely Kiss. Okay. 
Um, go Pokeball. Do we get it? How do you break out of the ball while you're asleep? That's that's what I want to know. Should I use a heavy ball? If we lose an encounter to just not being able to catch it, that's going to be frustrating for me. I'm not going to lie. Yo, I wonder what our Sudowoodo is going to be. I wonder if Sudowoodo is randomized. That'll make the electrodes super fun. Oh my god. Okay. Evie, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at you right now. My rival is going to be so jealous when he finds out that I caught you. So, oh my god, getting the ball. I have two balls left. Two? Yo, Evie is sleeping. No, one ball left. Come on, Evie. Yes! Take a moment to think. Yes! Flexibility. Sweet. Yo. Take a moment to think of jobs. Flexibility. Um. What do I want to name you? Um. Flexibility. Love and trust. Here comes a uh, cause if your name, if you were a dude, I would name you Evan, but you're not a dude. I'm gonna name you Bianca. That seems like an Evie name. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. So, honestly, I kind of want to keep Kangaskhan in the party because I remember that it had beat up. And, um, uh, I definitely, 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 definitely will put Evie in the daycare because, uh, Evie will raise well in the daycare. Um. Uh. Oh. Oh, sweet. He's gonna give me the second egg. Um. So I guess I need to take that egg before I can deposit a Pokemon with him. So. I'm just putting a coal in the box, and then we'll grab Nicole in a little bit, but, um, yo, Nicole was so clutch for that encounter, um, I hope I can find a Pokemon with Headbutt, because Headbutt encounters would be awesome, receive the odd egg, fun fact, I think this egg has like a 1 in 12 chance of being shiny, um, also there are like a million different things that can pop out of this egg, Okay, cool. So, um, like I said, uh, we will continue. Uh, let's actually grab Max. Um, continue on into Goldenrod City, and then uh, next episode, I'm gonna I'm gonna go grab the bike. Oh, I can talk to them. I forgot about that. Um, next next episode, I'm going to grab the bike. Aww. Okay, so next episode I'm going to grab the bike and then uh, we'll start the episode off with an egg hatching. Um, I'm going to battle this guy off screen. My name is Levi Adams and I will catch you guys next time.